is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right. That sounds good to me. Well, here's how we're going to do it. We talked about this back on Monday, and we figured it out. It's the best of both worlds. All right? It's good, to, good for everyone. Today, on this stream, I'm going to have a $100 tips goal. If we hit that $100 tips goal, the vest streak will increase by one. And I will put on a vest, and that's that. We're good. Now, if people find themselves generous enough to tip more than that, and if we double the tips goal today, let's say we hit 200, then you get a tier 2 reward, which would be like, I could put on the gunner glasses or switch vests or whatever you guys want, something silly, silly like that. And the vest streak will increase by 2. So instead of going to 161, it'll actually go to 162. Even though technically it's the same stream, I'm going to treat it as if it's like two separate streams. I don't want the vest streak to slow down because I did a marathon stream today instead of two smaller streams, you know? It's it's gross. It's for this. It's not because they love what they're doing. It's not because for the love of the game or because they're true gamers. It's for this. And this is what it's become. It's not about putting out a quality review. It's not about putting out a quality playthrough or quality stream. It's about making this. If you guys look at the top of the stream, you will notice... We have a subscriber goal back for the month of July. That's right, folks. For the month of July, subscriber goal is back. The subscriber goal is currently set to 725 subscriptions. We are currently at 667 subscriptions. So in reality, <clears throat> it's not unreachable at all. Actually, considering the fact that just a couple days ago, we were over 730 subscriptions. It's just that a lot of them expired. If we hit 725 subscriptions at any time in the month of July... It's time for another Viewer's Choice special event. Oh my god! What the fuck? What? Oh my god. Oh man. If you guys don't know because you don't have a Switch, well, basically consider yourselves lucky, <clears throat> because those Joy-Con controllers that come with the Switch suck ass. They have many issues, and one of the major issues with them is a Joy-Con drift issue, where you're, the, the little thumbsticks continue to just move in a direction, despite the fact you're not touching the thumbstick in that direction. This has been a known issue since the launch of the Switch that Nintendo has never addressed nor done anything to fix. Most people who play their Switches full-time end up running out and buying third-party controller attachments, another standalone controller. Anyone who takes the gaming seriously on the Switch says, man, these Joy-Cons suck ass, I need to go buy something else. Ah, uh, Phil hates Nintendo. No, it's the opposite. I love Nintendo and Nintendo games and what they do with their stuff. Now, like I said, most people sweep Nintendo issues under the rug. They just give Nintendo the benefit of the doubt. They fanboy out and say, whatever, Nintendo can do no wrong. And I've always said that's the wrong approach to have. That if you keep giving a company a pass, they will never, ever have any reason to improve. Why improve a product? Why improve the way you make a game? Why improve your mentality as a gameplay development company uh, if people just like everything you do no matter what blindly, right? And that's why I've absolutely never agreed with people who are blind fanboys of any console or any company. I think that it's counterproductive to them being creative and improving things over time. Sadly, Nintendo is one of those companies that just kind of thinks their shit doesn't stink. And when things go wrong, they go wrong. You know, in this case, this is the first time I feel in quite a long time that Nintendo is actually being called out for their bullshit. Because, ladies and gentlemen, Nintendo is being sued in a major class action lawsuit in the United States. <gasps> oh my god! Fuck you, Nintendo! Fuck you, Nintendo! You suck! You don't know what the fuck you're doing anymore, you dumb fucks! People got together and said, this is scientifically documented that the Joy-Cons are garbage. They br they're all have this Joy-Con drift issue. If you don't have the Joy-Con drift issue, you're basically lucky, okay? You lucked out and got one of the minority functioning Joy-Cons. Nintendo has refused to do anything to fix the issue. It would have been one thing if Nintendo said, okay, we admit there's an issue. Let's issue a uh, 
a recall on the Joy-Cons and we'll do a free repair job for all of you or whatever, right? But they refuse to do that. They absolutely refuse to do that. Um, you know, and because of that, very sadly, nothing ever improved. So people sued them. Fuck you, Nintendo. Yeah? You fucking own me? Fuck you. Because that's where it fucking belongs, in the fucking trash. When a company tells you that they're more important than you and they own you, that's what you fucking do with them. Fuck the Wii U and fuck Nintendo. Nintendo came out with a statement yesterday. This, now, just so you guys understand, the reason this is a story is because Nintendo never does what they did yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday Nintendo publicly apologized, acknowledged fault, and said that they're going to do better. Wow. Personally, myself, I can relate. Because when I started on YouTube 10, 11 years ago, I thought my shit didn't stink. I thought I was Mr. Popular. I was doing everything right. How dare anyone ever tell me I'm doing something wrong. And if you criticize me, I'm going to publicly shame you on the internet for it and laugh at you and deride you. Fast forward many years later, I have definitely learned. I changed myself. I evolved. I became a full-time beggar. For those in the stream chat spamming bullshit about Wings of Redemption, stop now. Because if you keep it up, I'm just going to time you all out. This is not a Wings of Redemption stream. This is my stream, and if you don't like that, you can go watch Wings. All right? I don't want to see this stupid shit constantly in my stream. I have nothing against the guy. I don't want people constantly making fun of him and talking about him in my stream. All right? Throwing down the law. <clears throat> That's right. This is the United States of Phil. I am the supreme being. I make the rules, and what I say goes. Uh, this is not a place for you to stand on your soapbox and complain about censorship and freedom of speech because the bottom line is you don't have freedom of speech. This is my land. <laughs> the Last of Us 2. Ridiculous amounts of people ran out and bought the game because of this overly hype review system that said the game was 10 out of 10 and within a day of the game actually being on the internet, you know, being played, people slammed the fuck out of it with negative reviews saying the story is one of the worst written stories they've ever seen ever. <clears throat> And this game did not deserve any of its praise. Not to say the game is the worst game ever, and not to say the game's a piece of donkey shit, but that the game is not the best game ever. The game does not deserve a 10 out of 10. It has tons of flaws, and a lot of people don't like this game because the story is not in line with what they were expecting from The Last of Us Part 2. Okay? That is a fair criticism. Someone has a right to not like The Last of Us 2, but Sony doesn't think so. Because here's the true news story for today, folks. Polygon wrote an article yesterday speaking about another gaming uh, news source, uh, Vice. Now, I guess Vice is an independent journalism website, and apparently Vice usually is very leftist. And what I mean by that is they're very supportive of LGBT plus rights and representation, okay? So Vice received an early copy of The Last of Us Part Two, and reviewed it fairly and actually critiqued it fairly. They didn't give it a number score, by the way. But what they did is they reviewed it and basically said... They didn't like the game because of the writing. They thought that the story of the game was shit. But they did like other elements of the game. It was actually, a, a from what I'm to understand, it's a pretty fair and balanced review. <clears throat> okay? So they reviewed this, this, this game, The Last of Us 2. They're one of the few outlets who gave it a negative review. Most other outlets just overwhelmingly, shiningly positive. Vice is one of the few. Alright. And... What happened? I'll tell you what happened. Sony... Publi well, not publicly. Behind the scenes, Sony contacted Vice and said, uh, Hey guys, what gives? Your review is like really negative, and it's not in line with everyone else, so we want to talk with you about that. Okay? I just want you to think about this for a second, before we even continue on with how wrong this situation is, alright? You're given an advanced review copy of a game and told to review it. You do... And then the people who made it go to you and say, we feel your review is wrong. How dare you say negative things about our game? What? Huh? Now just think about how that must make you feel. You asked me for honesty. I gave you honesty. And you told me my honesty wasn't good. So then you didn't want honesty. It, ju just the very fact that Sony contacted Vice about their review proves that Sony was not actually giving rev review copies. They were giving advertisement copies. Because the fact that they were so taken aback that someone would say something negative about the game proves they didn't want to hear any negativity. They only wanted positivity. Okay? So, this is 100% evidence that this whole system is corrupt and broken. 
So Polygon reported on this yesterday. Other internet content creators reported on the Polygon article yesterday. And this caused a big domino effect across the internet. People started commenting on the story saying, this actually happens all the time. This is the first time we've actually seen it publicly discussed because it seems to us <clears throat> that these people who get early advanced review copies are so nervous that if they say or do anything in regards to this process, they will no longer ever get early review copies. <clears throat> okay? So, apparently it's a common practice for major companies who make games to then follow up and criticize the reviewers if they give them a negative review. Like, how dare you? Why are you saying negative things about our game? You better clarify your position because we feel this is unfair or whatever. Huh? You got people who just cannot stay out of the drama, all right? And this is real talk. There's people who just can't stay out of the fucking drama. If a review comes out before a game's out, don't fucking read it. There's no point. That's a paid advertisement. If <clears throat> a streamer gets a game early and is playing it a week early before the game comes out, don't watch their stream. Don't support that content. That's a paid advertisement. That's not a fair gameplay stream. That's not a criticism. That is an advertisement. A lot of people can't even criticize the games they're playing early. All right? I mean, I'll be honest, just like any other normal human, yes, am I jealous of certain people and of people who are successful and whatever? Of course I am. Of course I'm going to have jealousy. That's a natural human emotion for those who have more than you. You're always going to have that natural kind of jealousy of those who maybe have, uh, you know, been more successful or things like that. Two years ago, I strongly criticized people who got a copy of State of Decay 2 early because they publicly said we're not allowed to criticize the game when we play it because of a review embargo. Then don't play the game. Stop being a fucking paid shill and be someone who actually wants to put out meaningful content for your viewers. Stop taking paychecks and actually do the right thing instead of being a scumbag and basically completely giving free advertisement to these companies, right? It's fucked up. This whole system is fucked up, all right? This practice is underhanded and evil, immoral, fucked up, and people need to stop this shit. People need to stop giving attention to early reviewers and early streamers because it's just irresponsible, immoral, and it's only done to promote and give free advertisement. It's not legit content at all. You show your toxic jealousy and just how petty you fucking are when you react to something like that. That's my take on it. All right? So I don't know if we'll have any more follow-ups to this story at all. This might be the end of it because it seems like every single time that there's been a criticism of The Last of Us Part Two. Sony and Naughty Dog sweep it under the rug. Oh, that's because people don't like lesbians. That's because LGBT plus scares people and they can't handle that that's a major part of your game. No, people don't like the story of your game because Neil Druckmann wrote it horribly. The game is disjointed. The game is a fucking clusterfuck mess. The game has a completely different tone and vibe of the first game. You kill off major characters from the first game who everyone loves about or loves and cares about within the first few hours. There's a million reasons to legitimately criticize your game. It has nothing to do with LGBT plus. You're just a fucking piece of shit for trying to create a straw man argument and try, trying to pretend that you're above criticism because you put liberal issues in your game. Fuck off. The Italian, I don't know. That Italian is pretty damn salty. It's very, very salty. This is how I play the game, tip me a dollar. I'm literally just gonna read it and then move on because it's very stupid. He says, I don't know why you keep throwing out conspiracy theories about video game reviews. It's been proven false multiple times. It's never happened. No one's ever proven me false. Also, like, who cares, man? Someone has a different opinion than you on a game, man. That doesn't mean they're kissing ass, man. They just like that game a lot, man. Well, the dude, all I have to say to you is, you're welcome to your own opinion, and I'm welcome to mine. And if you can't stand that on planet Earth, someone can have an opinion different than yours, you can leave. We got a rocket. It's called SpaceX. It's getting ready to rev. <laughs> the moon is calling, bro. All right. Last Rambo did a 50-bit cheer. He says, since you criticized early reviews, people are confused because you played Fallout 4 and a game or two early. What is the difference? Sure, I'll tell you the difference. When I played those games early, I didn't have any embargo on me. I was not expected to pull punches, and I didn't. In fact, I remember being very critical of Fallout 4 when it came out, saying, oh my god, the whole crafting system that's new is kind of cumbersome and annoying, and I don't like it. Oh my god, these settlements are so fucking annoying. Oh my god, the graphics are choppy in this place. It wasn't... There was no expectation of overly positive anything. All right, at all. Since 20, uh, 2008, when I started on YouTube, that's who I've been, the honest guy. Watching Phil's stream tip me a dollar and says, I wonder if you could clarify for me, are you saying it's okay for people to get early game copies as long as there's no expectation they'll kiss the game's ass? I don't think, here's the thing, yes, but I don't think people can be trusted.
you gotta listen to me free that's my clarification if there was if people got early review copies and there was zero review embargo like you got it now you could review whatever you want say whatever you want because that's what honest, honest journalists do i would fully probably support the practice the problem is we're, that's the honor system you're basically putting the trust in the in the hands of the reviewer that that reviewer is going to do the right thing i don't trust them you know i don't sorry i don't but i just don't my spoken word reviews are the best on youtube phil has indoctrinated children who send him money blatantly milking for money it's a money pit it's gone just gone like that in an instant fucking gone i just care about money that i just can't help it by ebay contributions are mandatory but i need your help i am appealing directly to you no decency no respect no common sense no fucking maturity is the guy who just doesn't get reality